Hey everyone, I am back from vacation and I just got my box of Baldur's Gate in the mail and come to find out that it is a complete dumpster fire. But I am committed, I'm going to at least open one of these and I will put the rest of these away for the future when people have somehow decided that this is going to be worth more than it is now. So let's at least get into this and see how we do. Um, people not happy with this set, apparently. Um, this all took place while I was out of town. And here, this was waiting for me when I got back. I still like the Dungeons & Dragons theme. Baldur's Gate is a fun setting. It's Faerun, actually. So let's see if we can get lucky here and pull out some of the big mythic dragons that are here. And we, of course, will be scanning up the rares and mythics. And trying to wade through all the alternate extended borders and stuff and see how we do. So, uh, only 18 packs, I think, is what this is now. It's a little half a box almost. Let's see what we do. Let's see, set booster. Hold on. Am I right? The 18 packs? Doesn't say. I'm just going to count. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times three is 18. There we go. Set boosters. And no side opener. Wish me luck. How's everyone doing? Is everyone just super angry at this set? I haven't had a chance to really check into it. Got a cool old school art card there of Alondo the Seer. Got planes. Got some uh, showcase goblin and dwarf. It's fun. I like it. I called this like years ago that they were going to do a crossover on this eventually. Lulu, the Holly Fant. I'm actually running her through my D&D campaign right now down in Avernus. So uh, there's some crossover appeal here. We got Shadow Heart. Uh, I'm probably not going to scan every rare because I don't think that's going to be worth much. Acolyte of Bahamut. There we got a... Um, <clears throat> I already forget what they call this form. <laughs> I don't like it because it's dark. Candle Keep Sage. Gale, Waterdeep Prodigy. And nothing much else. I, I guess I'll... Scan that one up at least, if it can see it. It cannot. Hold on. Well, the scanner's being a pain today. It just will not recognize this um, showcase art. Let's move on. Let's try to find something, anything in here. Really, we're at, after those mythic uh, dragons, I believe, right there. Guardian Naga with the stat block. Very fun. Goggles of Night. The Genocide, a Manifold Key, Swift Foot Boots, that's a solid uncommon, let's see if it likes that, there we go, it does, uh, it's a buck, Rasad Yinbashir, very nice, um, Etched Foil, that's what this is, Kaga, Shadow Archer, very nice, that looks pretty decent in the Etched Foil, I have to say, uh, Alter Ball, let's check it as a rare, there we go, so we're getting somewhere now with the scanner, and an Ingenious Artilleryist, all right, Mythic Dragons is what we're after here. Uh, Elminster? Yeah, sure enough. Full Forest, Moss Diamond. Um, kind of cool reprint. Nothing, uh, not a super big money kind of card there, though. Got a Gale, Waterdeep Prodigy. So there's the uh, regular version of the showcase that we found. Let's see. Just him by itself, 11 cents. Cultist of the Absolute. All right, Scanner, at least you're working. Uh, Guild Artisan, Edge Foil looks okay on that one. John Irenicus, Shattered One. And we got a Foil, Shameless Charlatan. And then from the list, we got a Graveborn Muse. That's pretty solid. Uh, doesn't like the Foil, the Charlatan. Graveborn Muse. From 10th edition, uh, from the list here is four bucks or so. Just gonna check something here. Yep, 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 yep. Looking pretty good. Graveborn Muse. There we go. All right, still got a long way to go to break even on this box, which was just just under a hundred bucks, I think. Nira, lightning bolt. Oh wait, just that's hey, that's pretty good. A showcase lightning bolt. Let me check that. Hold on a second. 
56 cents. It'll probably trend upwards after a bit. Uh, Skullport Merchant uh, reprint from the last Dungeon Dragon set. Saravok, Agent of Shadow Thieves. Nero, Wild Mage. Uh, etched Foil. Probably nothing big. The scanner doesn't like it anyway. Robe of the Arch Arch Magi. Charlatan and a Winter Eladrin. Alright. No Mythics. We got a No Mythic box already. <clears throat> Showcase art for Ancient Gold Dragon. We need to get a real Ancient Gold Dragon here. Gleam Stalker. The Busybody. The Young Blue Dragon. A Young Red Dragon. Gristle Maul. The Goblin Shaman. Alondo the Seer. Can't keep Sage. Flaming Fist. Battle Angels of Tears. So we got a Mythic here at least. It is... A pretty decent one, 15 bucks. There we go. A caretaker and a skeleton. Very cool skeleton token. I like that one. All right. Mythics or bust here right now. Oh, so we got a. This one's a foil stamped art card. John Irenicus Shattered One. It's just a stamp. It's not a. There's no signature on that. Just a gold stamp special is what it says. Interesting. So I thought they were doing signatures, but I guess now they're just doing stamps. I don't know. I'm waiting for the day when they actually do um, signed cards, like they do in baseball cards and basketball cards, of the actual artist itself. That'll add a whole new chase to this. You know it's coming. I'm calling it right now. They'll either do those sticker things where you stick them onto the, the card, which I don't think that would work for, for uh, play, right? You'd be able to feel the sticker through a sleeve. So that's no good. Cultist of the Absolute. Uh, hold on. Scanner. It's like, this card is so dark, you can barely see it. It apparently saw, uh, we may have already seen it, Kindred Discovery and an Owlbear Cub. Kindred Discovery, five bucks. Whoops. Owlbear Cub, not quite so much. And we got another list card in Unholy Grotto from Onslaught. 21 bucks is the original. Wow, I didn't realize it was that high. The list version, 15 bucks. So there's a nice list pull right there. Add one to your mana pool or pay a black to tap and put target zombie card from your graveyard on top of your library. All right, all right. The list is pulling its weight here. Third of the way through the box. Half the way to the cost. That's a flump. Glunch the Bestower. Very cool. Island, Diamond, Prowler, The Bag of Holding, The Mind Stone, Merkel, Lord of Bones. That's a pretty cool looking uh, god right there. He must be a good commander. Let's check it out. He's going to be 50 cents, right? 13 cents, even worse. Got a uh, Edge Foil Lulu, Wizards of Fae. And a Basilisk Gate. And the initiative. Uh, I kind of wish so the the uh, the new dungeon for just this set is special to this. You have to have the initiative. So it's not going to work with the other uh, dungeon mechanics, I don't think. I don't know. Maybe it does. Ancient Bronze Dragon stats there. Viconia. Decanter. The arcane signet so this one still have any value a little bit here candle keep researcher iron throne criminal past eldritch pact and shadow heart which i think we must i think we saw one of these already and it saw it as the regular 12 cents livion levon the cultist of tiamat and the piles are getting out of control here what do you guys think about this set down below? Um, I, I really don't... I don't know. I don't really care much about what you think about the value of it right now. Is this going to be cool for commander players going down the road? Because that's actually going to inform the value then. Like right now, it's just it, it just came out. The sets always drop like a stone. they got to get ready for the next big set, which is like a month from now. So I'm not too concerned about the price of the boxes right now. 
do you think this has long-term desirability for Commander players? It's, this is what it was for, right? Got a Duke older Raven Guard. Um, are we going to see cards from this being desired years from now? Or are they going to sit at bulk forever? Jan Jansen, Chaos Crafter. Ten cents. There we go. I think it has potential. But then again, everything has potential. Chartalin Dragon. Um, <clears throat> I feel like they're probably not as much like crossover between D&D &D players and Magic players as what they were hoping. Because I think they already are. There already is like crossover there. Master Chef. Um, Emoin. And a Vexing Puzzle Box. So we got a full art extended border mythic here. Whenever you roll one or more dice, put a number of charge counters on this. You can tap to add one mana of any color and then roll a d20. Remove 100 charge counters from Vexing Puzzle Box. Search the library for an artifact card. Put the card on the battlefield and then shuffle. It's a lot of hoops to jump through for an artifact. But it's pretty decent and it's borderless. So there we go. Got the Merry Thief. One hundred charge counters, and you get one artifact. I'm sure you could make that happen. Uh, ancient Copper Dragon, Cloak of the Bat, the Hezru, Githzerai Monk, Dragon Cultist. We got Commander Liara, Astarian's Thirst. That's from the uh, Baldur's Gate Three video game, in fact, which I would like to play but it's still like in beta umbral mantle pretty good uncommon um this is definitely a good card to reprint on the list the untap mechanic is pretty rare just from Shadowmore, pretty much mystery booster card four bucks getting there uh what is this thing a tri drone this is uh like a construct thing from uh, what's that outer plane? I forget what it's called. <clears throat> you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, yeah. Raga Draga. Gorgut's boss. Nothing big there. There's Gale again. Call to the Void. And Poison the Blade. Raga Draga. At least it's fun to say. It may only be worth 14 cents. A Mykonoid Adult. There's Lulu as a showcase. Slod. Lightning Bolt. Just by itself, 48 cents. Campfire. So, I don't know if any of these commons or uncommons are really worth much. Maybe the little bit. Bane, Lord of Darkness. Another commander card that is worth 14 cents currently. Who knows? Maybe they'll pick up in value um this guy john irenicus of course murder deadly dispute all right so currently in standard a uh, pretty big card so was a good one to reprint i suppose got a volo itinerant scholar and there's a mythic big mythic right there scion of halister safana kindred discovery Got a different, same one. Apparently, we'd already seen one of those. I think it was like four or five bucks. Okay, pack. Let's go here. All right, so then we got a, a stamped signed card here. Corlesa by Pedro Poitier. Can it see it? Can it see it? Scanner does not like this, but maybe it's worth 50 cents or a buck. Thieves Tools, Bandit. Criminal Past, Shameless Charlatan, Cloakwood Hermit, there's Blood Money, Destroy All Creatures for Each Non-Token -to Creature Destroyed, this way you create a tapped treasure token, that's pretty okay, it's three bucks, alright, so a few mythics here, none of the really big ones, so it's going to come all down to these last like three packs here, we're going to that's a Mahadi Emporium Master, a Rakshasa. Is that how you say it? 
pack attack, meat in a tavern. <clears throat> Again, I still love the flavor here. Um, it doesn't bother me at all that this is Dungeons and Dragons crossover. The Council of Four. And I can't see it. So we're going to assume it's a little bit. Caves of Chaos. And a foil monster manual adventure card. And then a Brago from the list. Monster manual. It's a buck 99. Let's see what the foil is. 242. And then a Brago King Eternal. Um, from Eternal Masters previously. And Commander Kaldheim. So it's been reprinted several times. Now it's on the list for 32 cents. <clears throat> Alright. Need that one. Last mythic to put this over. Put it over the top here. There's Minsk and Boo. Timeless heroes. Another lightning bolt. Showcase. We'll keep that one. Not even really worth scanning. Thrakis. Veteran soldier. Ellen Harbreeze. Busybody. Yeah, I don't even know why that's a character, just to be honest. You got the Elder Brain and a Fang Dragon. Dragon? Not a dragon, it's a dragon. Alright, last pack, here we go. All the marbles. Boomer Bust. Flipper Flop. Edder Cap. Tiamat. Fanatics. A Sivris. Kadira. Candle Keep Sage. Lazel. Lazel again, and that's pretty much it. No big mythic. Okay, no big dragons in this box. That's how it goes. All right, anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think down below, and I'll catch you on the next one.